All right, in this video, this is T's multiple choice math review video number four, and we're going to look at the order of operations, but in this example, we're gonna have a long fraction bar. Before diving into that, look at the links in the description. There is a free sample review and just a recent update to the full review. When it was initially released in September of 2020, there were 80 questions. There are now 100 questions. These updates come at no additional charge. But again, try the free sample review first just to get a feel for it. And now let's dive into this example. So we want to evaluate this and we have four answer choices here and a common mistake I see students make is they'll do the following. They will look at the problem as being like this and notice it is somewhat similar. We still have 12 minus four times two here. And then this long fraction bar, they'll see a division, which is correct, but we're missing one thing that's very important here. When you have this long fraction bar, you need to evaluate the top stuff, then the bottom stuff, and then divide it. Well, you may say, hey, that's what this looks like. Not quite. It actually looks like this. Look at what I've done here. These two problems are the same now. Notice we have parentheses around this group here. That's our top stuff. We have parentheses around this bottom group. That's this piece here. So we want to evaluate each one of these groups first, and then we will come back and finish the problem by dividing. Now, on the actual T's test, do not rewrite it like this. Just remind yourself, hey, I need to work out everything up top first, everything at the bottom next, and then divide it. That's what this long fraction bar is telling you to do. So when we do evaluate this top part, which is the same thing as this right here, we still want to go ahead and multiply before subtracting. So therefore we'll have 12 minus, and this is gonna be eight. Four times two is eight. So this is our first group. Let's go ahead and bring down our division that we have right here. And we can go ahead and evaluate this as well. We do not take eight plus eight. First we need to divide this part right here. So therefore we're gonna have eight plus four. Four, and that four came from this part here. We want to divide first, and now we can do the subtraction here and the addition here, and then we can finish up with our division problem. So going on to the next line, 12 minus eight, we get four here, divided by eight plus four, we get 12. So we have four divided by 12 based on the way I wrote it here. Now remember, this stuff was at the top, this stuff was at the bottom, so we can still write this as a fraction, which is gonna be four over 12. That still means four divided by 12. And now what we need to do here is simplify our fraction. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by four, and four divided by four will give us one up top, and 12 divided by four will give us three. Our final answer is going to be one third. Now these other answer choices are answer choices that you could possibly get had you done it incorrectly. For example, if you had evaluated it this way using the order of operations, but not taking note of the groups, the top part and the bottom part, you would have ended up getting 15 there. And that's the point I wanna drill home here. When you see a long fraction bar with order of operations, evaluate the top stuff, evaluate the bottom stuff, and then finish it off with that fraction or division. And there you have it, an order of operations problem involving a long fraction bar. Check out examples similar to this. 100 questions are now available in that full review. Try out that free sample first. And again, you can find those links in the description. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.